63rd win if they hold on in the 90s, second only to Kansas in that capacity. And well, it will put them five wins away from 300 in this building. They also put out statistics over an eight-year period. They're number one. Kentucky 235, Kansas 210, North Carolina 206. Just depends so, on what kind yeah, of right. time frame you're looking at. Right? You make those numbers match whatever's best for you. Just over a minute left. Francis forces one over Evans and got hey, Could this be deja vu? Remember the Indiana game at this time? Three in a row. Two by Wrecker and one by Fife to send it to OT. Turner foul as he reads through the traffic and Francis is the guy that got him and that is it for Francis. So that takes away the long range firepower that Gary Williams desperately needs in this next 60 seconds. Steve Francis is going to be a great story by Curry Kirkpatrick and his creative genius as a writer. He's doing a major feature at ESPN Magazine on his Juco Jamma, the most dynamic impact player in America. Newcomer. Fouls out with 25 points, six rebounds, and five assists. Not bad. And didn't really have a great game. No, he didn't. Did not have a great game. He'd be the first to tell you that because, first of all, he's not going to the locker room, it looks like, with a W unless a miracle happens right here. And certainly there's plenty of time for one to happen. But he's a PT peer, no doubt about it. If you look at all American teams at the end of the year, he's going to get a lot of votes. So now the free throws will be Wayne Turner's, and Wayne has hit six of eight tonight and has hit five of his last six, or six of his last seven, I should say. Well, you know, you look at Tubby Smith. I mean, what teams play preseason? The Indiana's. The you talk about Kansas, you talk UCLA, you talk Maryland and Duke, I mean, but you should. This is such a great program. The SEC's had so much, so many good basketball teams over the years. You've seen Arkansas in the 90s certainly had a great run. And they'll come back. Nolan Richardson's a winner. 93-86, still a ball game if somebody launches a three. There it is, well. there it is. Got it. There it is. Oh, could this be deja vu? Could this be again? Could this be like a Tuesday night, Brad? It's a four-point game with 51 seconds left. Plenty of time, baby. Wow. What it's a mailbox time. Get out the mailbox. It's mailbox mashing time for the coaches of Kentucky. Here it is. He steps away from the screen. Terrence Morris, the most dangerous guy, is the guy that lays the screen. And there it is. It goes down, baby. And his teammates and Steve Francis looking at it. Yep, he can't help anymore, but he can certainly be a cheerleader. And they're jumping with joy at Bentley's right now, thinking, trying to spark their club down in Route 1. The ESPN zone's probably going nuts, too. The ESPN no, zone will be seen. really wired tomorrow night when that football game is on. I can't wait for that one. Mike Patrick and Feisman and company are going to be all fired up. The Jets against the Dolphins, first place in the AFC East on the line tomorrow night. Testaverde it's against Marino, that Linguini special. <laughs> and there goes Mr. Padgett. Knocking that one down. 22 for Scott. He never changes his facial expression. He's always on the poise, control. St. Xavier High School in Louisville. Had some academic problems you talked about in our last game he did and then rallied and got himself back in good form. Two possession game though. They're trying to get Morris, but they step up on him. They switch out front. Perimeter help. Here's Dixon's got an avenue. You got to take that when you get it. He's going to go to the free throw line as Prince hammers him on the drive. Well, the one good thing is they stop the clock if he can get a conversion here. Good perimeter defense by Kentucky. They stepped out trying to take the three away. Dixon is perfect tonight from the free throw line and is an 81% free throw shooter. He's got a nice stroke. He's going to be coming. Right. Look at him right here with his son. Look at his son. Say, that's right, Dad. I understand that, Dad. I mean, he's coaching and coaching. Francis has not taken a seat on the bench. He has gone to the bench, but he hasn't sat down, that's for sure. He's become a cheerleader now. He's become a cheerleader. You like to see that in the star, that he's part of the team. It's a four-point game, Mr. Vital, with 38.7 yes, left. Morris is really... Foul on, I believe, Miller. It's going to come down to the free throw line, and that's been a problem for Kentucky. That's been a problem all year for them, except they came up big on that free throw line in a one game, the Indiana game. That was on Miller. It is on Miller, and that's four, four on Danny Miller. No matter, what, no matter what happens here tonight, Brad, make no bone about it. Maryland has got an outstanding team, and we'll have a great year. 
Hashimu Evans has never hit the 30 point barrier until now. Yes, sir. There he is. The big 3 0. And when you get 30 in a game like this, when everyone is needed, you know you're a PTP or you know you're special. Mu will try one more here. He's hit five straight from the line. Make it six. Got the roll. He's been awesome, baby, with a capital A. He's been awesome. Still two possession possibility, but Maryland needs a three now. And really making him drive. They're taking away the three. Ball is loose. Padgett's got it again. It's over, baby. It's over. You can count this one goodbye if he converts here. The seniors winning experience. Nothing like, you know, you talk about experience, but there's a major difference between winning experience right. and experience. Look at and those There's the nucleus that also was part of a national championship last year, remember? Also a part of the national championship three years ago, final game two years ago. Got yelling overrated. No, no, I better not yell at them. They may meet them in a tournament. You don't want to get them angry. They're not overrated. They're legitimate. They are good. Ratings in the polls right now are almost meaningless. And that's the beauty and the essence of college basketball because everybody's zero and zero come March Madness, the greatest time of all. Padgett has had a brilliant game. Gutty and tough and 25 points to go with a slew of rebounds, and he's just basically iced it for his team here. 99 to 91. Final 20 seconds. Stokes in air ball. If I had to give an MVP tonight, I would give the MVP to the entire Kentucky team. Their execution has been A plus offensively, defensively. They've met the challenge. They've met the unbelievable athletic ability of Maryland. And they have met every challenge out here tonight. Foul on Dixon. Kentucky goes back to the free throw line. Remember back at the 16 minute mark, I gave you my. You said 100, yes. Yeah. Yes, you did. Well, they're going to get 100 here if Turner hits one yes, from the free throw line. You did call it. You said 195. We're in the ballpark. Very close. Very close. Boy, there's going to be 24,321 happy people. Obviously, there's some Maryland folks in here, but it's mostly blue. That'll be party time tonight here in Lexington, Kentucky. It'll, it'll, be, even, blue. it'll be even harder to get through that hotel lot. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Kentucky doing a great job against the pressure. Only turned it over one time against the pressure. And if you don't turn it over, they're not going to get layups off you. Did a great job. There's our people analyzing, charting our staff people who do a great job. This will be a season high in points for this Kentucky team if Wayne hits one of these free throws. And he hit the first one. 100 points, that's a season high. Well, Kentucky's been as smooth as you are on those vocal cords. I tell you, it is smooth as silk tonight. They look so much better than they even did in beating Indiana. Yes, they do. A lot better. They're up by 10. They're going to win it. They're going to go to 9-1. and one, And Maryland will taste defeat for the first time this year. But as Dick said, trust us, they are a very good basketball team. Fields, no call in the lane. Here it is. going to finish with the exclamation point. Evans, and he got it to Turner, and he scored it. Great W tonight. A-plus for Tubby Smith and his gang in every phase of the game. Offense, defense, they were superb tonight. A super performance by Tubby, his coaching staff, the fans. Tonight belongs to Kentucky basketball. Between Ricky Williams and the Big Blue of Kentucky in hoops, those are the two big stories in college sports. And that's going to do it for us. Final score, Kentucky 103. Maryland 91. Maryland loses its first game of the season. For Dick Vitale and our entire ESPN crew, Brad Nessler saying so long from Rupp Arena in Lexington, Kentucky. Sports Center is coming up next. We saw a great one on the worldwide leader in sports.